In the 1960s, the Riley family began building private game reserves in Swaziland with the blessing of the monarchy. Their privately owned big game parks now total 35,000 hectares and host nearly every species endemic to this part of Africa. However, the Rileys have fueled a bitter struggle by forcefully evicting indigenous people from the lands they have inhabited for generations. Uh, Tuli Makama, an environmental attorney, has boldly defended the native people's rights. Whilst we do not condone poaching, I think things need to be seen in their context. More than 69% of the population in Swaziland is living below the poverty line. When one gets up in the morning and they don't have any money in their pockets, they look to the environment to give them their meal for the day. In 1992, the conflict turned to tragedy when two indigenous people were shot and killed at an inn outside the park. According to witnesses, the men who were suspected of poaching were unarmed and there was no evidence of poaching. Ted Riley, the founder of Big Game Parks, was allegedly one of the gunmen. My husband was at the inn with my brother. As he was leaving, he met a band of men carrying guns. He was ordered to kneel down. Then they shot him at close range in the back. He was in the hospital for eight months, and then he passed away. Some of the killings that actually happened in 1992, they had absolutely nothing to do with poaching. And some of the killings that are currently happening, they have absolutely nothing to do with poaching. Often, they will actually attack people, not even within the game park itself, but they are actually attacked in their homesteads, in front of their children, in front of their wives. Swaziland's Game Act of 1997 was authored by the Riley family and approved by King Maswati III. The law enables game rangers to use firearms in force against suspected poachers and assures game rangers of immunity when enforcing that law. The law was backdated to include the first killings in 1992. Since then, an estimated 100 lives have been violently taken in the name of the Game Act. Mick Riley, Ted's son, was allegedly a gunman in one of those killings. The arrogance uh, with which the killings are being done has sort of increased from then. That opened the floodgates for a number of the deaths that were we're seeing today. There's always a lot of political noise around uh, wildlife law enforcement, and uh, people start, you know, asking questions as to, um, you know, why, why one one has to be uh, rigid in your enforcement of the law, and why, you know, people end up losing lives in protecting wildlife. When you say to me you are killing poachers and you are actually killing people who are poor, neighboring the park who are going in there to find things to survive on. I think it does not solve the problem. The lasting solution would be in terms of balancing the interests of the local communities and those uh, of, of the parks. In 2009, Tule Makama won a five-year battle in court against the Swaziland government. She protested that the Swaziland Environmental Authority was obligated by law to have at least one member on their board that would represent an environmental organization. The court agreed. What is key about being able to influence the decisions that are being made in that body is that that is the highest decision-making body uh, on environmental management in the country. We want communities to have space in the management and the benefit sharing uh, over natural resources. For outstanding environmental achievement in Africa, the 2010 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Tule Makama, Mabane Swaziland.